Welcome back to the YouTuber you've never heard of or cared about, and today we're going to be looking at a speed paint that I'm recreating from about 2016, when I thought I had talent, and I did not. I only had basic average amount of skill to draw to a level where it looked better than most people, but not all that great. <laughs> As an artist, I really unironically thought I was the best. Growing up, I thought that my art was so amazing that people had to give me attention, that people had to pay attention to me. Then they had to look at it, that if people weren't liking my art pictures or looking at my speed paints, it's because they were... They were it's not my fault because I'm amazing. I really thought that way. That brings me to another point. At some point, I'm going to be making a video about why artists are like the worst people on the planet. And I'm going to be mostly talking about myself. Because they honestly are. Artists are just the most outrageous people. They either are self-loathing or their confidence is so unrealistically high. They think they're the best. And they're sanctimonious to an unholy level and an unhealthy level. And think that the world owes them something. Back to the video at hand, we're going to be talking about my speed paint, and it's, like I said before, it's a recreation of an older speed paint from 2016, where I drew Twilight Sparkle and some other character. don't know who they are, not going to pretend to know who they are, not going to act like I care about who they are. I've watched some of the My Little Pony movies, unironically, before, and they're not that bad. There is some character development, I would say, for some characters. I just don't like the fact that you just forgive everyone, even if someone tries to kill you? Question mark? There's plenty of, like, plot things I just don't understand i try to kill you and all your friends but it's okay because i'm sorry no that's not how that works it just boggles me and now friendship can solve everything and it can't because like all things friendship is very temporary and not a guarantee that it's gonna help you get better as a person or help your life in general not saying that friendship should benefit your life i mean they should if it's toxic and if it's bad for you it shouldn't it should not be a part of your life but away from that tangent i remember why i made this speed paint i remember thinking Oh my god, everybody loves My Little Pony. There's such a big fan base. I should make a speed paint and get lots of views. And in some way, I was right. I don't know. I don't even know what music is playing in the background. I know in a lot of my older speed paints, I, for whatever reason, would put the audio so, so loud and make the just take random non-copyrighted music that I would find and it would be really bad and I would just slap it in there right and now I'm kind of not really doing that as much I'm just putting whatever music I feel like and you know I know it's gonna get copyrighted because but I don't really mind it's it's whatever it, <laughs> I mean I was thinking about at some point like collaborating with somebody who sings really well and put their like or, or just someone I know and just put covers like their own covers in there but apparently if you sing a, you know something from a song youtube's like no that's copyrighted we take your money even though i'm not really benefiting financially from youtube it's just something for fun i do for now it's a little hobby never realized that me drawing that my little pony video could have actually just been a good step in the right direction like if i continuously just drew fan art all the time and my art level even though it was awful i could have like been like had a better following but I was always drawing like stuff that no one cared for, no one asked for. I'm just gonna put a bunch of drawings like, what is that? Why did I draw that? What is this? Who asked for that? What is this? Why, 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 why? As I was saying, if I followed the, the direction of fan art, I would have been more successful. Like with the Hero Academia, Black Clover, that show about eating children because you're rich. I remember there was actually, I'm just gonna go on a slight tangent again. There was this book that I was reading about, not book, book I was reading about, there was a book I was learning about in history, slash English because for whatever reason in English class right now, I'm learning about history. I know they're very closely related, but I'm learning more about history than I am like language and text and all that. So for whatever reason, it's just closely similar. Like the, I know it's the whole idea of like cannibalism and being rich and all that stuff, it's not new. But in that specific text, it's called A Modest Proposal. And the whole thing satire, and it was implying that poor people would be willing to sell their children in order to gain economic higher status, and then the rich were willing to pay money to eat children, right? And it was it's a modest proposal because it would benefit everybody. The poor get less poor, bring down the population of the poor because they're, they're worthless. And the rich people get a cute little snack. Why not? Because, you know, all their food is really hard to come by. And that, that anime was very... I don't know what it's called. I'll probably 
I'm not gonna find a picture of it or what it's called because I do not care. But those kind of remind me of one or the other. I know one specific, it has a whole story and it, it's, okay, it, it has eating kids, okay? It just reminded me. And back to what I was talking about. I keep doing that. Back, 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 back. Makes me want to scream, just insert that Yoshi's Island real quick. But this is a bigger message that if you look at the before and after, of this drawing that I'm doing right now, and I'll show it on the screen right now. As you can see, a lot of artists are very discouraged by in trying to improve their art. They think that it's impossible, that they're not good enough, they're not, they're not, they don't have the most expensive materials, they need this, they need that, blah, 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 blah. They need all these things in order to be good, right? And you don't need good materials to be a good artist, right? You don't need a, a professional studio to be a good singer, right? What I'm saying is that it's all about motivation and learning skills. Trying to learn about every individual aspect of art in order to fulfill that goal of improving. Drawing every single day, drawing new things, redrawing your old art, redrawing other people's art, drawing things you're not comfortable drawing. Like, you only draw girls. Stop. Because there are not only girls in the world, there are boys, okay? There are boys, you should practice drawing both things. You should draw animals too, you should draw I don't, I mean, I don't draw different body types because I don't, yes, I'm evil. I'm, I'm fat shaming. I'm skinny people shaming. Fight me in the comments, please. What I'm saying is that don't limit yourself because you're scared. You shouldn't do that. Limiting yourself enables a behavior that's going to limit your growth as an artist because you're limiting yourself for what you can draw. You're, you're telling yourself you can't draw these things because of the, so then you don't learn how to draw those things, right? I was always scared of drawing everything. I was scared of drawing this. I was always staying in my comfort zone. Always drawing like bust up, half bodies, headshots, like trying to avoid any way of drawing a full picture. I didn't draw backgrounds ever, only until recently. And you, the only way to learn how to draw something is by drawing it. If you, you might not be able to draw it well at first, but you're, you're practicing. Right? And you don't have to show it to the world. But you definitely need to draw those things in order to create those skills for yourself. Um, I don't know. That got way too deep for me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very... I'm not, I wouldn't say philosophical. That's a stretch. That ain't it. That ain't it, chief. Um, I would say I like to talk about how I feel when it comes to art. I just love art and I love drawing and you can't really love drawing if you don't do it right you can have an appreciation for it but if you're not drawing like ever and you're like ah, i don't draw really but i want to improve then you need to change that and you need to take criticism you need to let people like vomit on your art for in order to improve because if everybody i mean when you're younger it's a little different like when you're a kid i would say like up to middle school you need that you need that false encouragement right you need it because you're a kid and kids are stupid and they and if you say something's bad they're they're gonna believe you and they're gonna stop and give up because that's how some kids are unless they're raised differently but as you get older you need people to tell you that this is not good this doesn't look good you need those kind of corrections and you also need to listen to people who are more experienced than you you need to listen to people who are more successful than you because they are they obviously know how to do it right they're not crazy, so don't shut out people who probably know more than you. It's, it's the same thing with just people who have more knowledge because they're older, probably. Don't get me wrong, there are plenty of artists that are younger than me that I'm learning from. Don't get it twisted. It's, it's a crazy world out here. But if you ever feel like there's an artist that's younger than you, but they're better than you, don't think like that. Just stay there. there just pace it in a way that they probably have practiced more than you they probably draw more than you they've probably been like really grinding on that art you know to get to get better to where they're at so you should i personally don't compare myself to other artists right i don't like oh i feel bad about myself i oh i'm so jealous i wish i could draw like you i say it like this i say one day i'm gonna draw as good as you i know it's not today because obviously i'm not at that level yet but eventually i will be able to you can't just say, oh, I wish I could. That's that's already saying you failed. That's already saying that's impossible. That's saying that you can't do it, right? So you have to have, you have to kind of have higher expectations for yourself if you're willing to put the work, if you're willing to put in that effort. And don't, okay, 
And also another thing, don't be afraid to, to hype up your own art, whether if it's good or not, whether if other people subjectively believe it's good or not. Because there, what is that standard where you have to self-deprecate yourself? in order because it's okay it's okay for you to hate yourself and don't like what you do or don't like yourself but it's never okay for you to love yourself or to appreciate what you can do for yourself if you say oh my god i'm such a great artist people are like you're so vain ill oh my god i'm so beautiful disgusting that's gross you shouldn't talk that way that's you're ill no why why is it like that? i never could understand i understand when people are like when they use that confidence to bring other people down like no i'm too beautiful like i'm too this that's when you think you're better than everyone else that's a whole different level right but there's nothing wrong with being confident i i just never your art just say your art's good say it's great say it's amazing for what it is for your talent level for your age for what you're doing now right but you have to try you can't just expect it to get better overnight it's not proactive cream honey you can't there's no cream for your hands for it to magically start drawing better you have to you have to look for it you have to go online look at tutorials look at other drawings reference 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 reference, reference, reference. you can't draw something if you don't know what it looks like you can't draw a nose if you never i know you have a nose you you see it your memory is awful people people like oh my i remember no human beings memories are really unreliable when it comes to these things you can have a picture you can have an idea what something looks like but it's never 100 percent accurate unless your memory is photographic right so don't you can't draw a tree you can't draw these things unless you know if you're looking at it or yeah if you've been constantly looking at a reference try to refer to these things also with colors don't don't use gray for shading don't do that that's bad you should and with skin color don't go so light i know there's some white people out there there's some albino looking people we are not that not all most average people are not that pale unless you're korean or you're very just naturally like that that's not the majority of people most people are, are they, they have a white looking skin color but they're not white they're not yellow they're 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 more closer to brown and even with the dark skinned people they're not they're not really really light brown unless you're you're mixed you, you, don't be afraid to add some color don't forget to go a little bit darker welcome to the end of the video i do not have an outro but i will say if you're new here please subscribe and to you know just like all those other youtubers just leave a like just 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 kiss that like button just smooch it up and you know that notification bell needs some tapping as well like how you're supposed to know if i'm gonna post a video in three years you need to click on it you need to lick it you need to sniff it right and i guess i'll see you next time